yo what's going on guys it's me again with another video today we're gonna go over um what is it that we're doing today the top 10 rules you must follow when trading all right guys real quick make sure if you haven't subscribed and followed the channel please do so um remember that we're doing giveaways on every single video um each video needs to get if you can see here i don't know if you can see over here over 30 likes so we're doing 30 likes this one has 23 yesterday's has 17 so if we get over 30 on each one then we're, that triggers the giveaway all right guys so let's hop right into this video man um the top 10 rules you must follow when trading so let's go let's go to the first one let, let me put this in the let me go to the slideshow from beginning here we go all right so the first one is do your own research guys uh, a lot of people are always asking questions and and just kind of um, oh man you guys can't even see I haven't even switched it boom there we go my bad y'all <laughs> here we go all right number one do your own research um, so yeah so you guys have to learn to do your own research whether it's from a macro standpoint fundamentals or technical um, you know a lot of people just blindly follow you know either someone on uh, Instagram or someone on Twitter or whatever whatever the media saying um, guys do your own research like yeah we have a trade room where, where we share our trades but you guys when we share our trades you guys should be then trying to fix trying to see why it is that we're taking certain trades um, and stuff like that so uh, always do your own research guys you know if not you'll never learn you'll never understand why it is that we're doing certain things um, and you know you'll always be having to depend off somebody else um, I'm getting a lot of notifications here because it's 11 a.m. currently and um, where the markets open so you might hear some noises and stuff uh, those are alerts and stuff we have set up all right the next thing is to don't chase a moving train so what this means guys if if something takes off um, you know if there's a stock that already took off guys don't jump on it this a perfect example what would be the link play everybody was jumping on link everybody was jumping on link uh, we even told you guys do not jump on link at this moment uh, because it's already gone it's the trains left the station and um, and we gave you guys pullback levels to, to jump into and uh we even use the same exact levels that we had recommended you guys in our mar market analysis of link um so anyone that jumped at that price around 19 dollars 20 dollars they they're in a loss because that it dropped all the way down to 13 dollars so uh that's a perfect example another good example that a, a lot of people are probably familiar with is jumping on um bitcoin when it was at all-time highs at 20,000, and it dropped drastically on them you know so um guys don't jump on a moving train like wait for a pullback wait for the right entry um that's gonna make you money in the end in the long run all right remember when you're investing you want to buy low sell high what a lot of people end up doing is buying high selling low because they buy high then the price drops on them they panic and they sell it at a loss this is this is why doing your own research is so so important because if not you won't understand this a lot of new traders they buy the hype after it's already too late you know what I mean if you don't do your own research you won't be able to find those that low price to enter at so do your own research and don't chase a moving train number three trade with logic not emotions I see this way too much I have people always sending me messages emotional about their trades because they're in a loss guys you have to always have a plan in place before entering a trade if you enter a trade without a plan after I've told you a million times not to do it like now that's on you you know of course you're gonna be emotional about it you don't know what to do you don't have a plan in place uh, you've let it run you've let that loss get way too big now now you're fucked you know um, so don't trade with with emotions guys you have to take emotions out of it you got to detach yourself from this to treat money um, like points not like cash you know what I mean um, 
So in order to do that, you have to start with with a very small amount of money that doesn't affect you. Um, something that doesn't that's not gonna trigger you if you lose it. You know what I mean? And it has to be an amount of money that you're willing to lose. You have to be willing to lose it all. Once you get that in your head, then that's when you'll start seeing progress in your training. Because then you're gonna start trading with logic and not with emotions it is so so vital it is one of the hardest things to do probably in trading and it's what makes trading so difficult with and have such a high uh learning curve because people just don't understand that discipline is so so important in trading and unless you learn to to be disciplined when trading like you can't be profitable it's just not possible um so that's why it takes usually experience, a lot of experience to be able to detach yourself from the from the amount of money that you're trading with. Um, it definitely took us some time. And then that leads right into the next one. Always, always, always use a stop loss. Guys, I don't want to hear any excuses about this. If you're not planning your stop losses ahead, you're gonna you're never gonna succeed in trading you're never gonna be profitable all right don't message me if you're in a loss because you didn't use a stop loss guys you always got to use a stop loss there's no way around it no if ands or buts stop loss stop loss stop loss put that in your head guys stop loss stop loss on every trade stop loss you want to enter here where's your stop loss you want to enter at whatever other price where's your stop you have to know your stop loss before your entry your stop loss it, which is your risk management is way more important than the price you're actually entering at get that through your head guys number five very important know when to stay out of the market a lot of people don't understand this concept um, you don't always have to be in a trade guys you don't always have to be in a trade. I know it's exciting to be in a trade. It gets your adrenaline pumping. It gets you going. Um, but that's not how you trade. You don't always have to be in a trade. You have to know when to stay out of the market and wait for that entry. That's why you have to look for those pullback entries so that you know what you're waiting for. It. You know what I mean? Like you have, you can't always be in a trade. If you want that adrenaline rush then go to a casino, go to your local casino, go to the roulette table, bet on black, bet on red, because that's basically what you're doing if you're just entering random trades, you know? Um, this is a concept that's very difficult for beginners to understand because they always want to feel that rush of being inside a trade and they feel like if they're not in a trade, they're missing out. Uh, so they FOMO. Guys, you're not missing out. I'm telling you, you're not missing out. There's always another trade. There's always another day. Know when to sit in your, on your hands and stay out of a trade, guys. So important. Number seven. Wait, is did I skip a number? Yeah, I did skip a number. My bad, guys. Number five. So this is actually number six, but whatever. Um, hold on, I can actually fix it. But it's going to probably throw off all the other numbers. It's all good. Yeah, it threw off all the other numbers. It's all good, guys. Um, so six, only invest what you can afford to lose. Guys, this is super important. And this ties into being your emotions, trading without emotions. Um, this ties into, you know, being disciplined. Um, because if, if you're investing more than you can afford to lose, then you're going to be emotional about every single trade you take, which leads to you making bad decisions. Um, so the way to do this is start with a very, very small fraction um, so that you're not emotional about it. You have to be able to detach your emotions from your money if you want to be successful. And that's just the truth uh, with trading. That's why so many people fail because they cannot make that separation of um emotions and and the money they're investing they can't separate themselves from it so very important guys it's all boils down to discipline diversify guys you always want to be able to diversify you always want to any anything you're invested in you want to have you want to be diversified in 
I preach this all the time. Never put your eggs in one basket when trading. Um, you only should be uh, risking, you know, between one to five percent on any given trade ever. Uh, risking any more than that, then you're not practicing proper risk management. You're not trading with a trading plan. Uh, you're not practicing a proper risk reward. You know, it, it basically you're not going to uh, to succeed. It's just you can't because it's a long term. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, you might get lucky one, two, three times, but in the long run, when the law of large numbers comes into play, then you're gonna lose. It's just it's the law. You know what I mean? It's we, it's we preach this for a reason. We're not. I'm not telling these things for no reason. You know what I mean? Um, so you have to always have your portfolio diversified with crypto. I like to keep between 30 to 50% of my portfolio on Bitcoin. I like to keep around 20 to 30%. I like to keep around 20% in altcoins. It depends how much I have in Bitcoin, which, which then, you know, depends how much I have in altcoins. Um, and then, uh, I like to keep around 20% to day trade with. And then I like to keep around 10% of my portfolio in cash, in fiat, so that when there's dips, I can enter back in. And then when I take profit, I I put that money back into my cash uh, reserves. So very important, guys. In the stock market, I do the same thing. I keep my portfolio diversified. I'm 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 invested in um you know I invest in ETFs, which diversifies your portfolio for you. And then I, I uh, invest in, you know, any companies that I believe in. And then after that, then I have the percentage where I day trade with, then I have a percentage in cash. So very important, guys. The trend is your friend to the end. I know it says number nine, but this is actually number eight. Um, guys, this is another big thing. People are always looking to short for some reason or just counter tr counter trade. Um guys don't make life more difficult for yourself the probability is always in the di in the direction the higher probability is always in the in the direction of the trend itself so trade within the trend if the trend is going up you should only be going long you should only be buying you shouldn't be trying to short the market um, unless you're you've been trading for years you're an expert you're profitable year over year for like the past five years then you can then you under then you have enough understanding of the market to know when to go short and to get out quick because these are scalps these aren't gonna be you know big trades long long trades um, other than that if you're a beginner if you're you have less than five years experience trading you should not be trading against a trend because you're just it's not gonna be go well for you um, so always trade with the trend always trade with the trend guys always don't make life harder for yourself always trade with the trend I'm saying I'm repeating a lot of these things on purpose so you guys could to try to get it into your head always trade with the trend all right number 10 is actually number nine but number 10 not nine <laughs> uh, discipline guys discipline is so important in trading is basically everything discipline is everything in trading if you're not disciplined you're not gonna be successful and that's just the way it is um, it took me a few years to to be able to, to really get disciplined with my trading plans and with my emotions and you know with what I was doing with the whole idea of trading so it's not something that happens overnight it's something that happens um, over time with experience with losses with trial and error um, so don't get upset at yourself if you're not disciplined yet don't lose hope and faith in yourself you just got to keep pushing Pro uh, practice proper risk management so you don't blow your account and with time you're gonna get there you know what I mean it's just you just it's something you got to work at every single day all right and then the last one number 10 which is also the bonus if you fail to plan you plan to fail I know you guys have heard this a lot if you fail to plan you plan to fail say it one more time 
If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Guys, you owe, you have to, you have to, you have to plan your trades before entering your trades. You have to know all your targets. You have to know your stop loss. You have to know your risk reward ratio. You have to know how much you're risking on that trade. Like these are all things you must know before you take a trade. So you need to write this down. You need to write it down. Don't just make it up in your head and be like, okay, I, I planned my trade. No, you need, this has to be written down. If you're not writing down, you're not planning your trade. It's just, it's not real unless it's written. So guys, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It's that simple. That's why a lot of you ask me questions. And the first thing I tell you, I ask you, what was your, what was your trade plan? You know what I mean? If people in my trade room ask me questions about any trades, I ask them, what does the plan, what does the trade plan say? It literally answers every question you have. So, and it should answer every question you have. So if your trade plan does not answer every question you have, you're not, you're failing the plan. So you're planning to fail. That's just the way it is. All right, guys, that is it for that. Let's jump into the question of the day. Remember guys, we're doing this on every single video. You can win a free month membership. Um, the question of the day, every video will have a random question about something in the video. The question will always be in a random area of the video. Find the question, then find the answer. Post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month membership. Winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 35 likes, guys. We need over 35 likes. You know what? I'm going I'm to I'm bring it back down to 30 because we've been, we've been stuck at the 30 range. So I'm going to do over 30 likes, guys. Winner will be picked once the video receives over 30 likes. All right. Good luck. Here we go. Question of the day. What is the rule you feel like you have to work on the most and why? Very simple, guys. Everyone should have a unique answer to this. I'm doing this question this way on purpose. I don't want anyone copying and pasting someone else's answer. So tell me what did what is the rule you feel like you have to work on the most and why all right guys thank you very much man appreciate you guys tuning in i tried to make this video shorter than usual but as always a lot goes into trading uh and i'm trying to simplify it for you guys so uh thank you guys please like comment subscribe follow the whole nine you know what i mean uh we appreciate all the support we appreciate you guys We'll be back with another video hopefully tomorrow. Alrighty, guys. Peace.